As the days get shorter and the nights get colder, fall hangs on near Tokyo, not letting go even as the end of the year approaches. For us, that means indoor activities begin to take center stage around the warm kotatsu table. Hey! <laughs> hey, what? I'm done with my homework. Oh, good. Now I don't good. have any homework. Oh, nice. What are you doing? Legos. Some Legos. Look at all those Legos on the kotatsu table. Is it on? Are you nice and warm underneath? I'm not putting my legs under. Oh, is it too warm otherwise or what? Feels like summer when you go under there. It feels like summer under there? Cool. Like like you're in the desert. Desert. Like you're in the desert. The cold of winter. Feel like you're in like the bath. It may still be fall near Tokyo, but Christmas adds to the warmth of our home as a family prepares for dinner. What are you doing, Becca? Well, uh, making a salad. Yeah. Making a salad? Oh, and chicken alfredo are good. Help oh. Rebecca and help her Sarah here. Yes. <laughs> Kara's not going to turn this on now. As the air outside turns crisp and thin, the morning light pierces the sky. The mountains far away in the distance can clearly be seen on this chilly morning, and the kids come up with a new activity to do around the Kotatsu. What is going on here? Factory. A factory? What kind of factory? Separating all the colors. Separating all the colors? Yeah, they're this much and guess how much. So you a handful? There is 23,000. 23,000. You can separate them all? Not Nijusama. That's crazy. It's not even like this big then. Nothing beats a fun activity around the warm kotatsu on a chilly morning. And today, it's a bead factory. I'm going to come with the help of all of them. <laughs> but at some point, you have to emerge from the kotatsu to go about your day. And today, we're heading out to prepare for the arrival of winter. Okay, we're on our way. Little winter clothes shopping and other things coming up. Yeah. Whoa! The greater Tokyo area can see a dusting of snow and gets its share of cold, nasty weather. But for the most part, this weather stays at or above 0 degrees Celsius or 32 degrees Fahrenheit. That means that most homes don't have central heating. So if you want to warm up, you have to bundle up. And anyone with kids knows that they often grow out of clothes from one season to the next. No, there's hardly any one for these, right? Hard Sarah, there's hardly any your size? What is the deal, huh? We have found a lot of clothes here over the years, and this is probably the cheapest store where you can find stuff. And decent Anna. stuff. This is Anna. Mommy, this is Anna. Oh. Will you Mommy, wear it? Yes. What will you wear it with? Black, black tights and stuff? Like these pants. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Meanwhile, Joshua was also on a mission to get something in here, but it wasn't close. <laughs> <laughs> oh my, we like the toys, huh? Yeah, so you want one of these kind of things? You do? Okay, what do we have here? Uh, she's wearing a hilarious doggy shirt. Okay. She won't keep it. She's like, she won't? Let's see. She just wants to show you. The video of this doggy is hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, ciao. Bye. But Mama Chan wasn't done yet, and soon she found the last thing on her list. What's nice about these pants? They're the warm kind. They're lined. Oh, these are nice. Look at how cozy that is. Oh, yeah. It was successful. Successful. What do you like about the store here? Um, for younger kids, it's great. They have so much, but... Even for Sarah, for 140, we had a hard time. They had a lot of 150, but not 160, but it's cheap. <laughs> yeah, we bought all that for about 70 bucks. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, well, I think we are done for Josh and Sarah for the winter. Wow. I just need to get some long sleeve shirts for Beck and Anna. Okay. And then we're good. I just love the fall around here. It's so beautiful. These trees, the evergreens. Oh, love it.
It calls Big J with a Big J kick, huh? Uh-oh. Oh, <laughs> oh I missed though. But when you get a chance to play ball on a nice day, you take it. These are the moments memories are made of, and Joshua is really enjoying soccer right now. Here it comes. It looks good. It looks good. It looks good. It is good. Celebrate. Oh, yeah. Back inside, the factory was on pace to meet its goals, and production was at 100%. Oh, Sarah, you have been making some serious progress, huh? Look at that, my goodness. Booster, you too. Yep. You may come see how I get refilled. For a bit tiny. A refill? Oh, now you have more, huh? That's how we do it. Oh, I see. Okay, very nice. Champions, my friends. What are you guys doing over here? Well, we're getting all the reasons in here. <laughs> oh, they can get it. With the end of the year comes what is perhaps our busiest time of the year. That's because we're getting ready for one of our biggest Sundays, and this year is no exception. This might be the last day of nice warmer weather before it really gets cold. It's supposed to really drop in temperature tomorrow. But boy, this courtyard here in our apartment complex looks amazing. Today I'm working on something super special. Look, it's not another Life in Japan episode, although that is super special. This is Christmas music because we have our Paz Church Christmas celebration coming up on December 24th and we're getting music ready. That's, that's Japanese, English, classic Christmas carols, a new spin on them. And you're invited. If you're anywhere near Tokyo on December 24th, you've got to come out and hear the stuff live. We've been working hard on it. It's going to be awesome. I love how long fall lasts here in Japan. It is great. Oh, it's early and the sun's going down. You know what that means. An early sunset means Christmas is just around the corner. On top of that, today a grand reopening is happening that has the whole neighborhood talking. And it's not the bead factory. Let's the Second floor, Samito. Check it out. The new Samito. Yeah! <laughs> hey, we. What <laughs> takes <Jake's> game? <laughs> we. <laughs> oh, bye. Oh, we hoping Joshua will get all ready. <laughs> so Samito's been closed for, our grocery store has been closed for two weeks for renovations. They put in a bakery and today's the first day it's open. So I really, I had people coming over for lunch. I needed something. So I was like, I'm just going to run over to Samito real quick. Well, the line to get into the store was ridiculous. So at the end of the day, we're going to try it again. It might still be too long to go in. We'll see. Ooh, no the line. Gucci. See, there's that, there's oh, that's the Deguchi. Let's call it Iraguchi. <laughs> Going in. <laughs> no mushrooms for Sarah. <laughs> Mental notes. Sarah, what did you have for lunch today at school? Yeah, I had kare, but mushroom. Mushroom kare. Oh. I did not like that. Did you like it, Joshua? So, Ruth, what are you noticing is different so far? It's so nice now. Like, they have everything now. It's so beautiful. Today, we're just checking out what's new. But in an upcoming Life in Japan episode, we will show you exactly what we get from where when we go grocery shopping. What'd you find, Sarah? I don't know. Okay. It's some dark, dark senbei, huh? All right. Going up. Gonna see what's on. Floor number two. Oh, 
some new shirts. Mr. Okay. Day and his Pokemon. He only has Pokemon long sleeve shirts. <laughs> so, what did oh, you think? I loved it. It's a zoo, but it looks so nice. Actually, there's one thing that I'm not too thrilled about because they moved all the paper goods from inside the grocery store to the second floor. So, I probably won't buy my paper goods there because I don't feel like checking out of my groceries and having to go upstairs and buy a toilet paper. No joke, huh? Shogun I. What you gonna do? As fall winds down and winter prepares to come in, each morning starts a little bit later. The leaves on the trees become a little bit thinner. And going outside means preparing for the cold. But if there's something that I love about fall in Japan, it's that it lingers. It doesn't just flip from fall to winter all at once. You can see that things are changing, and yet you can see how they were at the same time. To me, it's just like family life. Seasons come and go, and before you know it, things have changed. But one thing remains the same, the warmth of the family, when there's love and a good kotatsu to keep you nice and toasty. Oh my goodness. Breakfast today around the kotatsu with bunches of things that Mama Chan has made. Hot cocoa, the Rebecca Chan to join us. Get in on the family warmth by subscribing to Life in Japan and comment below to let us know your favorite part of the end of the year in Japan. What is it, Natsos? What are you looking at? Well, yesterday we found a sack on the road. Uh huh. Place it right here, and like, if it stays there, that means it loves us. <laughs> well, I guess it loves you. <laughs> it loves us. We're gonna test it again. We're gonna test it. Okay. Tomorrow we shall see the results.